A lot of times what happens over the winter months is the batteries in your lawnmower or your motorcycle or whatever, you know, the smaller six volt batteries, uh, the things you don't use over the winter, those batteries die on you, you know, especially if it gets freezing cold overnight. So what we'll do is check out to see if this SeaTech trickle charger can help us out. All right, folks, so I have another SeaTech trickle charger. I've had it for years. Um, I originally bought it for a 2008 Jaguar that I had, Jaguar XK. Uh, I've since sold that, but I, you know, of course, kept the trickle charger. Um, it's down in my storage shed uh, with my riding lawnmower and my push lawnmower and um, a snowblower. So I'm going to go down there. I'm going to try and uh, hook the trickle charger to um, my riding lawnmower's battery. There is um, a, a way to select, like there's a little motorcycle icon that you select on the, on the C-Tech device, and it uh, pushes six volts to your six volt battery by its, your car battery. So I'm gonna try that. All right, I'm gonna go out here to my storage shed. So what's been happening, I guess, uh, it's been freezing cold here overnight and it it seems like it's uh killing my battery on my riding lawnmower so I'll come out here to my storage shed where the riding lawnmower is turn on the light some light in here and um so i have the c-tech multi-us 3300 and you can see the little motorcycle emblem over there once if you put it in that mode you're supposed to be able to charge a six volt battery so let me plug it in Got a plug right here plug it in set it to motorcycle get the clips here, bring it over to my Husqvarna rod and lawnmower engine. And this is where the uh, positive and here's the negative for the battery. So I will clip that here, clip this here. Ooh, there's a little spark there. That's good, I guess. So now I've hooked it up and it, as you can see here, it is uh, hopefully charging and I will come back later and uh, see how well or how bad it does. Because right now, this sucker, check this out. I'll sit here and try to start it and there is nothing. It is dead. So we'll come back later on and we'll uh, check this out, make sure that it's, or we'll see whether or not um, it charged the battery. We'll check it out later today. All right, folks, nothing in life ever goes the way you want it to. For some reason, the uh, SeaTech uh, Multi-US 3300, it just... <clears throat> didn't want to function on this uh, on this battery, so I brought my other SeaTech, the the newer one that I purchased recently, the MXS 5.0. Plugged it in, and it looks like it's uh, actually attempting here to uh, recharge this battery. So, you know, similar to the other one, I just put positive on positive, negative on negative on the clips here, and. Uh, started it and we'll see what happens all right so the c-tech's been charging for a couple of hours now turn the light on here so i'm gonna pull this tractor back a little bit open this door up latch it here That 
way I'm not blowing fumes everywhere. On these uh, husk varnish, you pull this lever back and you can kind of move it on your own. I just don't want to these wires all wound up on anything here. Still, still clear over here. Looks like it. Okay. Oh, let's see here. If we can start her up or not. I think I. It says uh, in the manual that I can start something with the C Tech actually connected but I think just for safety's sake I'm gonna disconnect this first and then see if we can start her up or not she starts she starts we'll, we'll see if there's any any power at all to this thing ready That's better than earlier. Oh yeah. That was awesome. Looks like it works. I'm gonna go ahead and let it charge more and uh, charge fully, and then it'll be ready to go. So there you go, folks. I use the SeaTech MXS 5.0 trickle charger. As you can see, it probably works with just about any six volt battery there is out there. Um, hope you like the video. If you do, please click like and subscribe. Thanks.